It's sneaking up on it. Oh, you are just so dead. Didn't even run away. You didn't even have to chase your meal for that one. How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. We're back in the playthrough today, and uh, yeah, today's going to be a good one because it uh, seems to be a lot of you guys are in agreement with me. We need to get to the carnivores, and we actually can, at least I think we can make the uh, Cerosaurus, yes we can. I'd like to increase his genome a little bit first because that's rather low, so let's actually go do that right away. We're going to go and uh, go to the expedition map and look for the Ceratosaurus. Oh, and actually we have a couple over here, and the one that we're looking for is right here, the Ceratosaurus. So uh, yeah, and then we got that guy over there that I can't pronounce. So we're gonna go to Ceratosaurus, get some more genome for that guy. Uh, and I guess we can start preparing the cage. We got 1.5 million right now, uh, so we're doing pretty good. Let's actually go to the map and just kind of see the layout here. You can see the uh, outskirts of our boundary of where we can go. Oh, this kind of wraps around. That's cool. So what I'm thinking, obviously the herbivore uh, pen's going to have to be a lot bigger. There's going to be generally a lot more in that. I want to do a carnivore pen now, and I'm thinking I'm just going to kind of combine this road down here all the way to the edge and then have a pen over on the other side of the road. Now, obviously, Obviously, we have some water there right now, so we have to do some clear cutting. Let's go do that real quick so we can see what we're working with. We can obviously add more trees later on when we do want to and uh, add the water as well, but this is basically just a big water hole. And I don't really want it to be that because uh, I don't think the carnivores would like to live in a pond. All right, so that is outside the area right here. So this is kind of the wall right here, and I think this should be, I mean, that's going to be a decent enclosure. So let's play with the water now. We're just going to actually get rid of all the water. We're gonna, obviously going to have to add water, but I want to build the pen first to see what I'm working with. So that's good. Now, uh, we also might want to upgrade our fences. What fences do we currently have? Is it just the light steel? Yes, it is. So... Man, if a dinosaur really wants to break out, he's not going to have too hard of a time. That's a little bit scary. All right, but that's all right. You can always upgrade the enclosure whenever you want. Uh, so for right now, we're just going to have to use light steel fence. And uh, actually, I'm going to start off with another Hammond Creation Lab. I like to use two because uh, I like to keep my uh, dinosaurs as separate as possible when I'm not trying to make them intentionally attack each other, that is. So there we go, we're gonna put that there, get that being start to be made, and let's continue on this road. Now you can either do straight roads or you can tell it you want it to curve wherever you want. So for example, let's start, let's try and keep this curve going on. So I'm gonna do it nice and straight, and then I'm going to curve this around all the way, uh, how's this work? Okay, so it's going nice and straight. It's hard to see because of the trees, but there we go. We're gonna go all the way to the end of the map, and, uh, that's a little bit more road space for us to put, you know, gift shops on, things like that. And, obviously, we need to connect this together. I didn't mean to do that. Huh, it's not actually letting me delete it, so I guess we're gonna have a little, uh, walkway nipple there. I don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Now, we're gonna need power as well, so let's get the substation over here, and we're just gonna throw this in that woods, kind of in the side corner here. And connect it. Uh, I want to keep these obviously out of the way of the dinosaurs. I don't know if they can attack them or not. I've never seen any attack them, but uh, they can do some pretty interesting things. Oh, it looks like we did uh, complete a contact. Oh, that that was the one to make the Whoa. place worth five million. Here we go. Your rep is off the charts. So you're getting a reward for the entertainment division for your work on Isla Man and Saros. All right, so we just got our first reward from doing these, and it looks like we have our first main mission with this guy. We need to inquire 50% genome hey, for the Ceratosaurus. How you doing? And that's going to unlock the Dracorex for us, which uh, is going to be good. Now, we're doing a mission right now, so I'm going to say not now. Oh, I thought we were. I guess we weren't. Let's go to the missions tab. And, okay, yeah, I only got one. Oh, that's right, we actually completed the security mission in the first episode. I totally forgot we did that, so I'm gonna do this mission since we plan on doing a Ceratosaurus anyways, and then we can get a Dracorex as well. And we're constantly getting fossils. We should have, yeah, quite a bit right now. These things are always worth good money, so... I always want to make that expedition center go out as much as possible. We got a little bit of Ceratosaurus here, so we should be able to make a decent one. And Edmontonsaurus, or Edmontosaurus. Uh, we can expand as well. I guess we already had those in there from last time. Now, we did get some new research. Let's go to the research station. We need to keep up with this as well, especially like medical treatments and stuff. Uh, and the building upgrades. Oh, enclosure! Look at that! I can make electrified fences. Um, I guess we'll unlock that. I don't know if I want to do electrified fences because they are a pain in the butt and they take a lot of power. 
But obviously, if we're having issues with dinosaurs, we can quickly change them over to that when we do want to. Now let's go to medical treatment as well. Let's prepare for this. We want the hookworm treatment. Oh, I, I actually, I only can do one at a time. That's right, I haven't upgraded this just yet. Um, and we need to research those upgrades, so I cannot do that just yet. All right, but back to our enclosure. Let's continue building this thing, and we are going to do, uh, yeah, the car- or one of the carnivore enclosures. I have no idea how many we'll do here. We'll see how many can fit, uh, and how many carnivores we want, because the more we have, probably the more enclosures that we're gonna need. that contract is closed. Great job. All right, looks like we closed up another contract, so doing the missions, and, uh, that's the main goal of this game, so that's good. And, uh, this is how easy it is to build in this game. I love- uh, just how quickly you can do things in this game. You really get time to focus on your dinosaurs, and in my opinion, with a game like this, that's what's most important. So this goes all the way around, yeah, as you can see. So I don't want to go all the way down here. I'm gonna go a decent ways, though. Let, let, let these guys explore a little bit. So we'll go to about here, and then we'll wrap back around. This is gonna use a lot of money, as you can see. Making fences is not cheap. But, I think this enclosure is gonna be big, and, uh, it's gonna make some of these bigger carnivore dinosaurs very, very happy. So there we go, I think we should have everything connected. You can actually see it via the map, so let's make sure. Yes, that's actually... I made it bigger than our herbivore, uh, enclosure, so I guess we could put a bunch of raptors in here or something when we do get them. Let's go to the fossils, see what we got. Uh, some more Ceratosaurus, so there we go, we're already at 61% genome, that's good, and we're gonna make that thing go again and continue to increase this genome. All right, one more thing we want on this enclosure before we get started is another viewing gallery. And this one's gonna have a nice spread for the majority of it. If we can get that upgraded viewing gallery, the gallery, the one that's taller, uh, that would be really useful kind of like over here where it can see all the way down. But for right now, they're gonna be able to see the majority of it, just not all of it. So there we go. And we'll keep that in mind where they can see it when we do build some more to this. So. First of all, we're going to need a feeder for these guys. Now, we can either do the carnivore feeder or we can do a live bait feeder. For fun, I'm going to do the live bait feeder. The carnivore feeder, I believe, feeds them more. But uh, we're only going to have one dinosaur for the start, so we may as well have a goat come up. And I think he just, yeah, he just kind of wanders around until he gets eaten, you know? The, the life of a goat in a Jurassic era game. Gotta love it. And let's landscape this a bit, so I'm going to put some woods over here. I do have to do the power again, so I guess the power didn't reach all the way over to that, unfortunately. Or I don't have enough power in the system. We'll see. I'm just going to do trees kind of on the outskirts here. We'll do a few in the middle as well. Just kind of, actually, I want to make sure the viewing platform has a good view, so we'll do something like that. Now the water, we're going to have kind of like a little river going through here, so we'll start over here. Actually, that's a little bit bigger than I wanted. Because the more water we have, the less space they have to wander. So they actually wander through the water, though, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But there we go. We'll do something like that. And uh, I think that should be good. That's everything that they need, at least. And we'll see how happy they are. Let's actually add some of the um, shrubs as well, because uh, some of these guys do like shrubs. And if we have a nice mix of forest and shrubs, usually it keeps everybody happy. So there we go. Research completed for the electrified light steel fence as well. Uh, and yeah, we don't have a substation here, so these substations really don't have too much distance on them. I was just out of range. That's fine. We're gonna need lots of these anyways. Put that guy over there, and we will connect these two together. All right, did we get any decent ones? No, we're getting all these junk ones, but his genome is much better now, so I think once these ones are finished uh, being researched, we will definitely look that thing up. Or we'll start making it, rather. So let's go and, uh, I guess go over to this guy. This is gonna be 105 grand to make it over there. Hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully we get a lot of good stuff there. And we also need to release two more dinosaurs. So what I'm thinking, let's actually see what we got going on here. We still have a lot of Struthiomimuses, but, uh, they like population. So I don't want to go crazy with the other guys. I might be smart to get one, actually, probably one more Edmontonsaurus and one more Triceratops should be good. So I think that's what we'll do, assuming we have the money to do so. So we're cutting it kind of close, but I think this will make my dinosaurs very, very happy. So there we go. That's going to make the park happy as well. How are we actually doing for people? We got 53 guests. That's more than what we had last time looking in here. I really wish it showed actually 53 people because they always look so barren. But there is some people in there. What's wrong with you? It looks like he's just hungry. He's going to be feeding. Uh, oh, no. Incubation has failed already. The Triceratops has failed. So we're going to have to discard that. What are we at? 282? I think I'll wait. Let's not run out of money, because that's when bad things happen, and I don't want them to happen, at least right now. Are you serious? What the hell? Both of my dinosaurs 
Okay, maybe we should increase their genomes a bit before we start making them, because I... That was like 500 grand wasted there. That reminds me. Let's actually get another contract here so we can earn some more money. Because we're going to need it now. So we don't have anything for the science division. They're probably and mad at us. So we need to increase our rating to 2.0 stars. We're probably not even close to that. Ah, we're like almost one and a half, actually. Once we release this guy, that might actually push us through it. Assuming he doesn't die. Let's knock on wood and not let that happen. All right, and here they are, back from their adventure. We got some more fossils. I'm going to try and pronounce this. Hyangosaurus? Hyangosaurus? I hope that's right. Uh, this guy looks really cool, though, so we can start extracting this DNA. This is a genome we have 0% of. Uh, we also earned how much in money? 140 grand in just uh, sale items alone. It's a dangerous world. All right, and this actually might work out for us. We need to use the team's camera to photograph at least two Ceratosaurus specimens. So that means we would need two of them, though. I, I don't know if they fight each other or not. I guess that's something we could try, though, and it's 250 grand? You know what? I'll take some pictures of some dinosaurs fighting. That sounds great. So, yeah, we're going to do that, and I'm going to actually stop going all the way over here because it's pretty far away away, I think. And we're going to go back to here, and let's focus on... Should we do Triceratops? Yeah, I want to get my Triceratops a friend, so we're going to focus on that genome a little bit as we're earning money and releasing this guy. When it, oh, wrong one. Uh, whenever... Wait, what? Did I not? I swear I started incubating the Ceratosaurus. Okay, I'm clearly crazy, so... Oh, God, that's 550000 so we're going to have to earn some money here, I guess. All right, well, you guys know what I need to do when I need to earn a little bit of money. We need another dino photo shoot. I'm going to be a professional photographer by the end of this game. Come on, look at me. I really wish you could drive while doing this. Doesn't look like you can. Oh, now you look. The moment I go away. Yes, that is it. That is a nice shot right there. That's only 1994. Come on, man. I'm used to a lot more money than that. And now you run. Now you freaking... Oh, man, you just stopped. Now you jerk. All right, let's go see if we can get a Triceratops or maybe multiples. It's always good to get multiples. What just stalked me? Oh, there's a guy right in front of me. All right, let's do... Hey, what's up, dude? There we go. That wasn't too bad for these little guys. They're usually not worth much anyways. I don't know where my Triceratops is. Is that him over there? Yeah, let's try and scare him a little bit. We're going to run right in front of him, get him running. And it's a little bit of a bad shot, but clearly not according to the game. There we go. There's six grand right there. And uh, I'm not going to take any more shots because then I start losing money. All right, so to quickly finish this quest, we're not really getting lucky with the expensive dinosaurs. Let's incubate two more Struthiomimuses just to get the money that we get paid for doing this. We need to release two more, and these guys will be really quick anyways. And they should increase the park slightly. You know, the more Struthiomimus we have, the better. They seem to be happy to get it. All right, and check out that. We got lucky with the Triceratops. We got a four-star. That's going to probably up the genome to like 80%. And uh, I'm totally fine with that. So how much do we got? 578. You know what? Let's actually let this guy go out first because that's going to cost a lot of money in doing so. And we're going to go to Edmontonsaurus. And Dinosaur is ready to release. There we go. That's why I love these guys. They take seconds and uh, they allow me to complete quests really, really quickly. So there we go. One mission done. All right. Looks like they're having a chat over here. Oh, this guy actually decided to go away. There's going to be lots of these guys now. Uh, these guys should be really happy with that. Now, you guys actually showed me. I forgot to hit show dinosaur statistics, which is why we didn't see their actual stats. So you can actually see all their stuff here. Uh, this is if they want grassland forest, their population. Obviously, you can have as many of these as you want, basically. And as long as they got food and water, they are totally happy. So it looks like these guys are all very, very happy. Um, this guy, he's kind of needing socialness, so that's why I wanted to get him one. Probably the same thing for the Triceratops here. Yeah, he's a little lonely as well. So we're going to try and get those guys some friends, but I want to get my Ceratosaurus first. And now that we actually have some money, let's start making that guy and praying we don't fail, because that would really suck. Yeah, you ladies, you're not the smartest, are you? We got uh, two people in the viewing platform, and they're viewing a goat. I don't know where that goat is, but that's only thing in here. How many guests do we actually have in here? 20! There's freaking 20! Man, you guys must be very pissed off right now. Uh, you might want to go over to the other viewing platform for at least a little bit. We, we, we're we still brewing this guy here. Oh yeah, y'all like that? Get a good look at that dinosaur right there. You better enjoy him, because he's gonna die in a little bit here. Trust me, I promise you that. Uh, this guy isn't gonna last much longer. He's, he's clearly enjoying himself right now, though. This guy is like, Oh, man, I got this whole enclosure for myself. I must be very important. Well, you are sadly mistaken, good sir. 
All right, and now that we're getting a little bit of a guest population, you can actually see people walking now for once. Let's actually get them some attractions as well. So we go into the guest thing here. The things we need at the start are like fast food, things like that. So we're gonna put, if we can, a fast food stand. I was hoping to put a bunch here, but clearly this ground sucks. Um, and that's unfortunate. All right, well, we're gonna have to put it over here, I guess. Let's just do that right there for now. Uh, and we'll also put beside that, do you want to do a gift shop? Should we do a gift shop at the front? I mean, that's usually where they are at amusement parks and stuff, so I don't know if that helps or not. But yeah, we'll throw this guy right here just to keep the guests happy, you know? And Dinosaur is ready to release. I have a sneaky suspicion that is the Ceratosaurus. Okay, so our first carnivore into the park. Should I wait till it's nice out? No, I don't really care. To be totally honest. Uh, sometimes it does bother the dinosaurs, though, and I'm a little scared with these weak fences. But there we go. Smart choice. You've proved that. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, now we have a Ceratosaurus, and this guy, I mean, he's pretty damn crazy. All right, so the Ceratosaurus is actually quite shy. He's been hiding in the woods. I've been waiting for him to come out and do something, but. Uh, He's kind of chilling at the back end here. These guys are probably not too happy about that, but do we have more than 20 now? We have 28. The goat! I found the goat! Okay, he didn't eat it yet. I was hoping we could get that, but uh, clearly he's not that hungry. Uh, maybe I should put the ordinary feeder out. He might not like to chase his prey. Uh, we'll see if he can eat this, though. I'm going to follow him around for a little bit. Because the last thing I want right now is this guy to get into the red zone for food. Then he'll probably go look for human food, and, uh, don't get me wrong, that's fun, but I think we're gonna experience lots of that. Oh, he's right down there! Okay, I didn't realize it went this way. Oh, you're screwed, dude. It's sneaking up on it! Oh, you are just so dead. Didn't even run away, you didn't even have to chase your meal for that one, but that should have made him... Yeah, he's fully f f fed now, so there we go, the goat seems to be doing just fine. All right, let's do something a little bit fun here. Now, people are going to be mad at me for this, but uh, I'm all about the dino fights. Let's just remember this is not a real creature. This is a Jurassic World made dinosaur, but we're going to try and put the, this in the Ceratosaurus cage and, sees wh and see what happens. Now, it actually suggests you do this because the actual visitors get more entertained by seeing fights and things like that. Because, I mean, humans love that kind of crap, right? So, this is actually gonna help, hopefully, the population as well. So, we're gonna see if this guy can actually beat the Ceratosaurus. And don't, don't underestimate a Triceratops. I think this guy will have a good chance. So, we're gonna transport him over there, and we'll see what happens here. This is gonna be good, I think. All right, he's scaring our guests. We got another goat already. That goat dispenser is really good at dispensing goats. Please don't attack the fence. He's actually happy right now, so I don't think he will. There we go. Oh, he's going right over right away. I didn't think he'd actually attack him. Let's go into this view, because I don't like the low view that it usually does. Oh, the Triceratops is ready, though. He's prepared. And, oh, 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 I think, th I don't know if they'll attack each other. I think he's going for the freaking goat again. This guy just loves his goats. Um... I'm gonna, I don't think he'll even attack it because look at the size of Triceratops. He's actually about the same size. Now, the Triceratops doesn't have any feeder over here. I wonder if I should intentionally starve him to see if they fight each other. Oh no, this is not gonna take long at all. I thought for a second he would have been scared, but clearly this guy, he's got a lot of testosterone in his system and uh, I think they're ready for a fight here. Oh, Triceratops is not backing down though. Here we go. Oh yeah, they're definitely gonna do it. They're fighting. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that's down to 45% health with just one hit. Oh, and he hit him. That only dropped him down to 77% though, so I think we already know. Oh, we got him for another hit though. Two hits. Their health is of vital importance. Claire, I know, but but we're, we're fighting each other right now. Look at this stance they both have. They are trying to defend themselves the best they can. Uh, this is actually a really close fight right now. Oh, we got him. Down to 1%. Oh, no. Oh, my poor, poor Triceratops. Okay, that uh, was not as close as I thought it would be. I thought for a second there the Triceratops would have a chance, but no, Ceratosaurus was definitely the winner of that fight. And uh, I hope you guys are entertained. Look at them all leaving. And now Holy we've crap. reached the inevitable. Life begets death. 
All right, but as you can see, 90 people are in there. 78 people now, so that really wasn't that bad. Now they're kind of pissed off about it, though. Death, it's always coming. But could you have delayed it? Well, that's maybe another story. All right, well, Ceratosaurus does have one win under his belt. We're going to have to get rid of poor Triceratops here. And in celebration of the Triceratops, though, let's get two more uh, inside the cage because that's what I wanted to do. Uh, it was a good fight, though. It was good to see how ballsy the Ceratosaurus is. I mean, I probably wouldn't fight a Triceratops. He's got big horns on him, man. I'd rather just eat my goats. And let's finish up this main mission of ours that we're on. And uh, it wants us to make a clothes shop. I think we just released that, didn't we? Oh, it's in guess, not that. Uh, oh, there it is right there. Yeah, I think we just unlocked that thing. I could be wrong, though. Now, it will work over there. I was hoping to put it within the reach of one of these. Actually, should we do it down there? There's not really anything down there, but I think we'll expand out down to down there later anyways. And honestly, I just want to complete the mission, so... There we go, we got that. Also, I think it said apply, yeah, improved output 1.0 upgrade to small power station. I don't know if I've unlocked that yet. Power oh, here we go. Something Tutorials, you cannot ignore gotta love them. To so I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to research that, so let's go do that right now. Improved output 1.0 for the power station. So go to the research center, and it should be a building upgrades, power station. Improved output 1.0, so that's 100 grand right there. I mean, you're going to have a lot of money in this game, but it's so easy to spend it, too. Uh, are both the Triceratops done? Yes, they are. What I'm seeing. So with death comes life. There is one done, and he's going to have a friend. These guys are going to be happier than the last one. And I think we just completed our mission as well. Yes, there we go. Another major mission done. We got the Dracorex now available, which is uh, going to be very awesome. Another meat eater. We've got a park running at maximum happiness, and our guest numbers are up as a result. So yeah, now we have the Dracorex, which is now available, which is kind of like a raptor. Uh, so obviously I'm excited about that. We're definitely going to get some more of those in there. And uh, yeah, the benefit being everybody's extremely happy right now. We have 100% on everything. The only one who's kind of lonely is the poor Edmonton Saurus over there. Uh, we'll probably get him a friend soon. And as long as this guy stays happy... Ooh, his health is down. That's right. Let's actually heal him. I mean, he did go to battle after all. So we're going to tell our ranger to... Uh, can I actually heal them? I, it's supposed to be able to heal the dinosaur. It must be so high. Yeah, if it's in the red zone, you can tell it to heal it. So we could always go over and heal it. But he's totally fine. He'll slowly heal over time, I believe. Anyways, guys, I think this is a good time to wrap up another episode of our playthrough for Jurassic World Evolution. Today... Oh, We've well, got we got the science division really wanting to uh, not end this here. Use the Rangers team camera to take a photo worth at least 5,000. Well, that's an easy one. I will go do that later. But yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Today we did the Ceratosaurus and the Carnivore Cage, which ended up turning to be bigger than our herbivore. But uh, yeah, we'll add a bunch of guys in there and we'll see what happens. And yeah, the second major mission done. That means we got, I believe, yeah, one more mission on this island and we should unlock another island where we can go and have uh, a crazier time because this is basically Tutorial Island, if you will. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and liking and I'll see you in the next one.